Guys, before this video starts, I want to tell you about this sick website that sells hella cheap NBA jerseys. The website is ringchasers.com. I copped myself a few jerseys on there a while back, and I honestly don't know how their prices are this cheap. If you guys want to get a sick deal on a jersey, make sure you check them out. Link will be in the description, and use code LQG at checkout for an extra 10% off. What's going on guys, it's LQG, and today I'm back with another video. So today we have for you guys NBA Legends Explain how good John Stockton was. Now you guys really seem to enjoy these NBA Legends Explained videos, so I'm gonna keep pumping them out for you guys. So make sure to keep showing your support. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content. We are releasing daily videos for all of 2021, so you don't wanna miss out. And also leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into NBA Legends Explained how good John Stockton was. Best. Who I never thought I would meet. You know, and then John Stockton became one of them guys when I was playing. People always ask me who's the toughest guy for me to play. And I always say him. Just so point blank. It's not Michael Jordan because it's fun to play against Michael Jordan. Right. It's a fear to play against him because I had to guard him 94 feet every time. He had the ball all the time. When a guy can shoot 10 times and make eight, he shoot 10 free throws and make nine. Right. He has 16 assists, he has five rebounds and five steals. You do the math for that. That's all right. And if I got to guard him all the time, and then he doesn't say anything to you when I'm trying to talk my trash, and that's yeah, my yeah, game. Right. My game is to get you to focus on me so that I can kill you because I can play that. Right. I've always said I think John Stockton is the perfect point guard. Stock right side, Stock down the middle, underneath the below. Oh, oh, baby, what a play by Stockton. His sense of where he was on the floor, his, his peripheral vision. It's like watching an artist work, John Stockton. You'd say, how did he see him? Huh? Oh, he's over there, boom, he throws the pass over there. What a pass, John Stockton! He's one of the few guys could pass a basketball where players wanted it. To me, it's phenomenal. He got him low, the mailman jumps it, shot up, hits it, he did it, he did it! A new NBA assist king, John Stockton. There's never been a guy who made better basketball decisions with the ball, ever. Best point guard to ever play the game is who? Oh, John Stockton, Magic oh. Johnson. I mean, those are the, those those two are the best to probably ever play it. What did Stockton do better than you? Um. I think he had like 3,000. He set the table. He, <laughs> I think he had 5,000 more than I did. <laughs> okay. All right. right. And steals. I mean, uh, look, when you look at those records, it's just, it's it's amazing. And I, I just don't think he gets the due that he deserves. Well, he played in Utah. That's why. Well, yes, I, I, that's, that's fine. But still, I think... Sometimes he's left out of the mix of, you know, great point guards, great, great point guards, and, and we forget to sometimes mention him. All right, is he going to be your, if I got your all-time starting five, is John Stockton your point guard? Um, yes, I should. And we played Utah two years in a row, six games, so 12 games against John Stockton. Mm -hmm. And I have the greatest respect for him. I see him away from the court, love him, great guy. But he was a dirty bastard. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Dirty bastard. Whoa! Steve, come on! I'm letting it out. I'm oh, letting it out. I'm letting it go. go. I've never seen a therapist about this. I'm gonna. This is my time. Let to it go. Let it there out. you go. go. I can tell you feel oh, better. Oh, oh, take the couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, John, John was a person that. Would this stretch is the, the this boundaries. Is the, the PG version of what yeah, like he said. Am I allowed to he say that word on TV? Sure. Sure. You got it. You got it. On NBA <laughs> TV, you are. I'll say a lot worse. Than Come on. That. No, 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 no. On NBA TV, I don't. You, you can say. Was John Stockton dirty to you? John Stockton was one of the toughest guys I ever played against. There, uh, we had a series on uh, the playoffs. It was our first series in Sacramento, and uh, we were playing against Utah. Great Carmelo and Stockton, and I felt that our team was in awe of them. Uh, we were younger. And so I told Coach uh, Adamant before the game, I said, uh, on the first play of the game, I'm going to lay Stockton's ass out. <laughs> and Coach said, are you sure? I said, yeah. I said, trust me, Coach. It's the first game. We just need to do it. Like, you know, they're they're prepared for everything that's coming. They don't expect it. I lay him out on the screen. I'm talking about I lay him out. One of the best screens I ever did. Got my shoulder kind of in that head area, too. Kind of make it a little dirty. 
he pops up off the ground, pats me on the butt, and says, "Nice screen." <laughs> you, you know, do you, do you know how uh, demoralizing that is? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So yeah, he's he was one of the toughest guys, and I loved it too. After that game, we would play him in the playoffs, and I would make rookies wait on the bus, and I would say, "Watch the baddest man in the world pull up." And they're like, what do you mean? They think I'm going to talk about like his cars and all this. And John Stockton would come to the game, literally in a minivan, <laughs> pop his kids out, come in there and bust us up. So yeah, he's a bad man. He's wherever he is right now. He's still a bad man. <laughs> you can say dirty as like HBO. Like HBO. I think that I think that John understood. There's a there's a a, a, a personal space law. And he understood how to invade that, and as a guard, you know, when I'm talking to you, Ernie, I'm going to talk to you here. But John, exactly, this is a, the this European, so comfortable even in the same kind of European way, <laughs> a little bit closer than you said. You're shooting a jump shot. It's respect that a guy shooting a jump shot that you can't block it, so you kind of just contest. John made like he could block it, and he'd get under your feet, or and I, when you're running out, the ball is out of bounds. He's running out. He like this trip that he would do. And all of a sudden, a guy would trip, and they throw the ball in at the same time, and he'd go down and lay it in. So he had a lot of those type of bastardly moves. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a, another. I want to say to you that um, you've not only done a lot for the Utah Jazz organization and the NBA, but you've done a lot for basketball all over the world uh, with your, your floor leadership with your passing, uh, and just with your competitive nature. Who's today is John Stockton? Mm. I think as long as he's playing, Steve Nash Steve is Nash, as close Nash. as you're going to get to what John Stockton was about. I mean, the consistency in terms of shooting the basketball. Steve is one of the game's greatest shooters of all time. John Stockton consistently a 50% shooter, a playmaker, an assist maker. But, I mean... I don't see that. You don't think I don't as Steve, much. But Only because of... Because of the offensive end of the ball? I, I think... Because of the willingness to score? I think John Stockton, to me, played free throw line in. Like, he really penetrated the basketball free throw line in. He, he had a broken fibula, and uh, a lot of players, it would have been a way to cop out. I made the Olympic team, but I broke my leg or something. Uh, but he continued to compete. There are a lot of great players in this league, uh, but somehow they, they seem to get injured or miss games. And uh, John Stockton, you pretty much can pencil in 82 games every year, and you know what you're going to get. And it doesn't matter uh, if he's banged up, if he's sore, if he's hurt. You know he's going to be there, you know he's going to play the minutes, and you know he's going to produce. Tough guy to compete against, a guy who uh, never backed down. It's a headache, you know, because you know it's not a night off. Uh, you know, he's going to bring it. Uh, when he's out there on the floor and so uh, you know he plays hard he loves the uh, competition he loves to go on against the, the best so that's it for this video guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel like i said at the beginning we're releasing daily videos for all of 2021 so you don't want to miss out and yeah i'll catch you guys on the next video thank you guys for watching and have a great day